So in this week's science experiment, you're going to need a small bowl, preferably like a little Tupperware one that has a push on lid, uh, nothing that screws on, a half a cup of vinegar, just white vinegar, and then two tablespoons of baking soda. Welcome everybody to Wild Wednesday. We're your hosts Martin and Christina and we're going to be giving you guys a Bible lesson and then a science experiment to go along with it. So we hope you guys enjoy, sit back and relax and enjoy this video. Yes, so today's theme is to watch your temper and to realize how easy it is to let your temper get a hold of you and how it is actually a sin and that you don't want to let your temper get so much built inside of you that it just explodes one day. Yeah. Uh, so in today's science activity we'll be showing you with baking soda and vinegar how that can result and today our Bible lesson is Proverbs 19 verse 19. So Proverbs 19 verse 19 reads a hot-tempered person must pay the penalty. Rescue them and you'll have to do it again. And so to that Bible verse, the theme is having an uncontrolled temper is foolish and it dishonors the Lord. So in today's Bible lesson, we'll see why uncontrolled temper is actually a sin. This habit reveals a loss of self-control and discipline, which is not letting the Spirit of Christ lead you. But we're actually going to be jumping back a little bit and in Proverbs 15 verse 1 we actually learn how to defeat anger and really combat and beat our tendency to have angry thoughts. So back in your Bible, Proverbs 15 verse 1 says, A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. So a gentle or a kind answer is the exact opposite of a temper outbreak and it leaves no room for any kind of uncontrolled anger if your answer is genuinely sincere. All in all, it's very easy to lose your temper. Sometimes you can get angry at your tablet maybe for not working and you decide to throw it across the room and it breaks and then you can't use it. Or slamming your door and getting so upset and then accidentally slamming your finger in the door as well, that is the worst. But it's so easy, like I said, to just lose your temper. And when you're already upset like that, it just is easier to get more and more upset and let things build up inside of you. So in today's science activity, we're gonna be showing you guys exactly how it would be if the, all that anger were to build up inside you. So we're gonna head over into our science lab and show you guys exactly how the baking soda and vinegar are going to show the buildup of anger yeah. and what happens. So now that we're in our science lab, Martin is going to be explaining to you guys why we're wearing safety glasses this video. So Bob and Sandy actually gave us some safety glasses because we were unable to find any in the store. But we just want to give you guys the good lesson that safe, eye safety is number one. It's very important. So we don't need safety goggles for any of the experiments that we're going to be doing. So if you don't have them, don't feel like you need them. But we are going to be wearing them at all times for our experiments from now on because eye safety is very important. And Number no, one. And no, we're not working with chemicals and all the crazy stuff that can burn your eyes. But if you ever are, you'll hear it from us first. Yes. So basically, we are going to be showing you guys how we have baking soda and vinegar and how they are going to basically relate and represent your built up anger yeah. and uncontrolled anger. So today we're going to pretend that the bowl is you. This is going to be you, the vessel, and we're going to play a little kind of story right now and show how what the baking soda is going to be and what the vinegar is going to be and what results from that. So, like I was saying earlier, when it's very easy to lose your temper, we're going to pretend that you're going to go get your tablet right now. And mm -hmm. for some reason, it doesn't turn on, and you decide you're so angry at it, you're just going to throw it across the room. You're done with it. Throw it. And you go look at it, and it's cracked. And you're like, oh my goodness, I just broke my tablet. So, the broken tablet and your anger from that broken tablet is going to be represented by our two tablespoons of baking soda that we have. So, we are going to just go ahead and pour this into the bowl right now. So we're pouring our anger into ourselves from breaking our tablet. <laughs> <laughs> and just go ahead, like Martin was doing, and shake it around on the bottom so it just gives it like a nice even coat. So you're just a little bit upset right now about your tablet. And then your mom gets home from work and she sees your broken tablet laying on the table and she starts yelling at you and she's wondering what happened, what what did you do to your tablet? And you go running off and you go slam your door and you slam your finger in your door. 
and now you're super upset and you just can't control it anymore and you're just ready to build up and explode with anger you broke your tablet you slammed your finger your mom's upset with you and so now we have to act quickly with this one so make sure your lid is close by you can even have someone else help you your mom or someone so you're gonna take your vinegar we have half a cup of vinegar we actually have these in our cups right here and like I said get your lid ready and you're not gonna push it on all the way you're just gonna place it on top like that and you're gonna see what the chemical reaction between baking soda and vinegar produces so let's do this all right you ready ready three two one Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> mine went all over the place. Alright, so mine was a little bit of a bigger bowl, so it didn't explode as much, oh, but <laughs> Martin's exploded over here, and so that is basically showing what can happen with your anger and everything. Uh, when it builds up, you can just get so angry eventually and just poof, explode. Yeah. So the chemical reaction between baking soda and vinegar produces a gas called carbon dioxide. It's not harmful to you. Um, it's actually found in your pop or sodas that you drink. Yeah. Um, but basically, it represented all of your built up anger that can happen and just poof, explode and your lid pops off. So to conclude, it is better to speak softly and to have the Spirit of Christ speak through you. Yes, and even if you get caught up with anger, the answer is to always speak and think of things gently. Especially yes. when you have sincere, gentle thoughts, it always results better for you. So that was our science experiment today. We hope you guys enjoyed. We hope you have a great rest of your week. We'll see you guys next week. Bye! Bye.